of the park. I regretted most losing my neighbors. It hurt, but now I know it's right. He recognized that the park saved the mountains. It preserved the natural beauty. Historian Dan Pierce has reminded me that the National Park Service may have not done the best job over the years of saying thank you and recognizing those families. I am hopeful this year has been a testament to the fact that we have tried to do that and recognize that sacrifice. We want to continue that today. With all of those individuals who were born in the park, that means they're over 75 years old, folks. <laughs> if you were born in the park, if you would please stand and be recognized. Mr. Secretary, Governors, Senators, Congressmen, Ms. Park, distinguished guests and friends, I am privileged to help celebrate a special day in the history of a great park. From the beginning, the park has needed park partners. By training, I'm a landscape architect. That gives me a great appreciation for the creative, lasting work and early park partner, the Civilian Conservation Corps, or the CCC, who built roads and hiking trails, bridges and administrative buildings, fire towers, campgrounds, and this Rockefeller Memorial, where we stand today. And there's no lintels, they're all uniform, if you'll notice. And they were manhandled. And every time I go through here, I appreciate the stonework that is being done on the highways, the tunnels. That is hard work. That's manual work. <clears throat> now, I'm here to um, do a prayer, and we're going to smudge these beautiful mountains and uh, to keep evil out. Uh, <clears throat> over there, but there was a bee <laughs> about the size and color of a small, small watermelon flying around. <laughs> so we were swatting, so we were over there, and that was not quite lightning. <laughs> I just said, can I have a drink of water? But anyhow, this is a glorious, wonderful day for all of us, especially those of us born and raised here. I was so touched to see so many people out there. So first and foremost, I want to thank you for inviting me to this event. But I do want everybody to know that I was not invited here today because I was part of President Roosevelt's event back then. <laughs> that was just an ugly rumor. <laughs> Although I do have my bustle. I bet Eleanor did too. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> it has been uh, quite an honor to serve as the ambassador for the 75th anniversary. And, of course, I took this job very seriously. So, yeah, there you are back there. They actually are in the musical down at Dollywood for the Shekinahay play, and they do wonderful. So I've asked them to join me today to do one of the songs called My Mountains, My Home. And if you listen real close, you can hear some These are my mountains, my